Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Uh, comment ça va? How are you? It's good to see you again. I'm glad that you're back with me. Today, we're going to do some very, very, very important learning in regards to conjugating verbs. Because we haven't done too much. We've done a little bit. But now I'm actually going to help you along in how you actually conjugate more verbs so that you can create more meaningful conversation. So, let's begin with just conjugating verbs in the I form with je. And uh, I call this the chop because it's very easy. You just take the infinitive and pretty much chop off the ending and there you've got the present way of conjugating verbs in the first person. Let's take for instance the verb boire which is to drink. Boire. J'aime boire uh, du thé. I like to drink tea. What if you wanted to say, I drink tea? Je bois. Je bois du thé. Je bois du thé. I drink tea. Je bois du thé souvent. Je bois du thé souvent. I drink tea often. Let's move down our list. Instead of saying boire, you can also say the verb to take. Prendre. And it means relatively the same thing in this concept, uh, context. So, prendre is the verb to take. Just chop off the end. Prend. Prend. Je prends. Je bois. Je prends. Je prends du thé. Je prends du thé souvent. Got it? And uh, another verb. I work. Or, or to work. Travailler. I work. Je travaille. Travailler is the infinitive. Je travaille. I work. And then we could go to eat is manger. I eat. Je mange. I eat often. Je mange souvent. Je mange souvent. Je mange du pizza souvent. I eat pizza often. I love that word. Souvent. Je mange du pizza toujours. Do you remember what that is? Toujours. Always. Je mange du pizza toujours. I'm, I eat pizza all the time. Or how about sleeping? Dormir is the verb to sleep. Dormir. So if you wanted to say, I sleep. Je dors. What time do you sleep? You sleep, uh, je dors à, à minuit. Sleep at midnight. Or at midnight I'm sleeping. À minuit, je dors. À minuit, je dors. Got it? And then the verb uh, to read. Lire. Which is just, uh, I read, je lis. Je lis beaucoup de livres. Je lis beaucoup de livres. I read a lot of books. Je lis beaucoup de livres. Remember that expression, beaucoup de? Je lis beaucoup de livres. And then, um, habiter is the verb to live or to reside in. Like, I reside in a house. J'habite dans une maison. J'habite dans une maison. I live in a house. Or, j'habite dans un appartement. J'habite dans un appartement. I live in an apartment. Or, j'habite aux États-Unis. I live in the United States. États-Unis is the United States, if you, if you didn't already know. J'habite aux États-Unis. J'habite à Las Vegas. I live in Las Vegas. J'habite à Las Vegas. Now, the cool thing is, we just conjugated those verbs in the present tense for je. It's almost the same for to. I told you when we were learning to that it was very easy because it's pretty much said the same way when you conjugate in the first person. And I'll give you an example. Je bois, I drink. Tu bois, you drink. Tu bois du thé, you drink tea. Or you could say, est-ce que tu bois du thé? Est-ce que, remember, est-ce que is, is it that, which is another way of asking a question. Est-ce que tu bois du thé? Est-ce que tu bois du café? Do you drink tea? Do you drink coffee? And again, uh, je travaille, I work. Tu travailles, you work. Où est-ce que tu travailles? Where is it that you work? Où, remember, is where. Où est-ce que tu travailles? Where is it that you work? Moi, je travaille dans... Dans un grand hôtel. Je travaille dans un grand hôtel. I work in a big hotel. Um, and then je mange. I eat. Tu manges. You eat. 
Qu'est-ce que tu mangeais? What is it that you eat? Qu'est-ce que tu mangeais? Qu'est-ce que tu mangeais pour le dîner en général? What do you eat for dinner in, gen in general? Qu'est-ce que tu mangeais pour le dîner en général? Got it? And then, uh, dormir, je dors, I sleep, tu dors, you sleep. I call this the chop, remember, because we're just chopping off that ending and it works for the first person, the second person, and usually the, the third person singular, but we haven't gotten to that point yet. Now it gets tricky when we do the vu form, the very formal way of saying you or addressing you all as a group. Remember, it's done with vu as well. So, je bois, tu bois, uh, vous buvez, vous buvez, it's very different. Um, the uh, conjugation of vu in the present tense almost always requires an A sound at the end of the verb. And in this case, it's bouvé. Like, allez, vous allez, vous bouvé. It's all going to end with that A sound at the, at the end of the verb. Ah, travailler, to work. It's very easy. Vous travaillez. The sound is the same as the infinitive. The spelling is a little different, and you can see that on your screen. But it's travailler, vous travaillez. Je travaille, tu travailles, vous travaillez. Où est-ce que vous travaillez? Where is it that you work? Où est-ce que vous travaillez? Got it? Manger. Je mange, tu manges, vous mangez. See, it's, in this case, again, it's the same as the, same sound as the infinitive, um, but the spelling's a little different. You see that EZ on the screen there. Vous mangez. Got it? And then, uh, dormir. Dormez. Vous dormez. Vous dormez jusqu'à quelle heure? You sleep until what hour? Jusqu'à is the phrase until. Vous, dorm, vous dormez jusqu'à quelle heure? And then lire. This one's tricky. It's vous lisez? Vous, li, vous lisez les journaux? Do you read the newspapers? Les journaux is the newspapers. Vous lisez les journaux? Vous, les, vous lisez les, les journaux toujours? Do you always read the newspaper? Vous lisez les journals souvent? Do you read the newspapers often? Oui, je lis les journals souvent. Yes, I read the newspapers often. And then habiter is the infinitive and vous habitez, you live. Uh, vous habitez avec vos parents? Do you live with your parents? Vos parents is your parents. Vous habitez avec vos parents? Got it? Not too tricky, right? What I recommend is if you haven't already done so, go out and buy this fabulous publication called 501 French Verbs. Coincidentally, you can get it in Italian, Spanish, pretty much um, any of the Romance languages. It's an amazing help when it comes time to learning how to conjugate verbs. It breaks them down into every possible tense and for every subject, whether I, you, you formal, he, she. Really great resource. You can probably buy it on eBay for like five or ten dollars. I highly, highly recommend it. So, if um, I've stirred any questions, feel free to just uh, send me a message, and I'll be sure to get back to you, because I always do. Thanks for tuning in. It's been a fun one. And, um, bon courage. I encourage you. All right. Adieu.